Here's our section of all of our tractors. And that's the tractors I was raised with. That had an Oliver 88, a 77 when I was a little boy. And I got to spend a few hours driving in. The Oliver 540 corn planter. Was a good planter, but it liked to break a lot of drive shafts. Done a lot of work on it to keep that one going. Now we get to the Ellis Chalmers section. There's a line of tractors that I'm a little more familiar with. I worked at an Ellis Chalmers dealer for two years. And I got to see what the insides of them all looked like when I fixed them. Fifty-five mass seals, one that I dug out of the junk pile and had it restored. Remembered it from when we were kids. Kenzie four wheel drive has dual engines, front and back. And the rest of the collection is pretty much John Deere's now. We have the four trackers and a Kenzie planter. Been fun buying the trackers over the years when I look back at the bargains I got on some of these. Two-cylinder tractors. The old John Deere D was popular. We used to cut firewood with one of those. John Deere with the orange was painted that color because that was the county used them for a bright color to be seen by cars driving down the road from on road ditches. on a gravity wagon. That was one of the Plow City soul tractors. And then the bottom shelf 
myself or some John Deere from the Twin Cylinder Club. We have two 6030s. They were both. One of them was a Plow City Show model. The other was Collector's Edition. We have the 55. around the room so you can see how everything ties in together. for the farm scene display here. Seth will be back to Dyersville in two more years with a new display. It has about another 200 hours to go yet. And we have to wait our two years before we can enter the contest again. And we hope to have one that you will really enjoy this time. Well, I think they really enjoyed this one. Yeah, it's a lot better than this one, though. This is the, pretty much the basement of my home, the only part of the house that has any value to it. And maybe in a couple more years we'll start taking the bedrooms out and filling them up with displays. Turn the whole house into a museum someday. That'll be our plans.